Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for your WWE Battleground pay-per-view full show review and results. Right after the pay-per-view, I bring it to you. I give you the coverage. I give you everything right here. So here we go. Now let's talk about the pay-per-view live on the WWE Network. It's a three-hour live show. Oh, three straight nights of wrestling this week. Eight hours. Can you believe it? All live, too. Sunday was this pay-per-view, Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night SmackDown. So let's start. Let's let the reviews begin to kick off with Battle Room. Okay, 2016. So it would kick off with the Divas, well, a women's tag team match. The women's champion, Charlotte, who has held the title for 307 days. <laughs> and her protege, Dana Brooke, versus Sasha Banks. And a mystery partner. Um. Yeah, mystery partner. Who was that? Be, who would it be? It would be none other than my favorite NXT woman wrestler, Bailey. Bailey finally makes her main roster debut. Teams with Sasha Banks, and um, I don't know if this is a one-off. She's going back to NXT. She's on the on the main roster now. I don't know why she wasn't drafted. Anyways, I think she's more than ready. However, we have to wait and see. However, Sasha Banks would make uh, Charlotte tap out to the bank statement. Because their feud is obviously going to continue. Charlotte versus Sasha Banks is going to be for the Women's Championship. Most likely for SummerSlam. So, yeah. Bailey good to see her on the main roster. Finally make her, that, her match debut. Main roster debut. On the big stage. And the crowd went crazy. Of course, I went crazy. Um, so, yeah. It was a good tag team uh, women's match. And, yeah. It's good to see her. Everyone looked good in this match, you know, everyone looked good. But, yeah, I have to see what happens with Bailey. Yeah, so, big win for Sasha Banks to make the Divas champion, or the woman champion, excuse me, Charlotte tap out. And, yeah, really good match, actually. Um, I don't think Bailey actually got to show off all her moves, though, so... Could, I think more could have been done with her, but, hey, it is what it is. Good to see her. Very good, uh, well, I wouldn't say very, I'd say a good match. Then you have six-man tag team matchup. The uh, Wyatt family versus the tag team champions, the New Day. So yeah, uh, it would be a pretty good match. Um, that was a really good match, actually. Uh, yeah, Wyatt family would pick up the victory. Now, I like how they're showing signs of fear with the New Day. Well, mostly with Xavier Woods, showing fear to Barry Wyatt. And yeah, it's a fantastic. Wyatt family is, of course, scary. And New Day have been your tag team champions for longest reigning and 303. I forgot. However, they uh, a lot of times they actually pick up the win here, so it's interesting to see with this brand extension, separate brands and all that. Will they actually get a title shot at SummerSlam? I know they're both on, well, Brad Strowman's on Rob, but Eric Rowan and Bray Wyatt are on SmackDown, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the tag team division. They just pick, they just pin the tag team champions. So we have to wait and see. It's going to be confusing now for Battleground. Last times we've seen people on the same in the same ring fighting each other and as a team. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, Bray Wyatt would pin Xavier Woods. Wyatt family looking dominant against the New Day, surprisingly. New Day, everyone looks strong, everyone looked good, like I'm saying. Good match. Um Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was time for your United States Championship match. Rusev defending against Zack Ryder. Um, okay, so this match it was okay. It was alright. Um, Rusev, of course, looking dominant, but Zack Ryder really, looking really, really, really strong here. And he just looked very strong. He got a lot of moves in. He got a lot of offense, actually. It's more than I thought. Because they're trying to make Zack Ryder, um, you know, like he was before, uh, a good superstar. A superstar that you have to watch out for. A superstar that can actually take your title. And Rusev got stunned a little bit. And didn't expect that. But Rusev would make a rack out tap out. However, he would fight out of it. But Rusev would fall back for him to tap out. So I said, a lot of moves here that you, I mean, he looked like a really tough contender. And a, I mean, Rusev, he took Rusev to the limit. But Rusev retains the United States Championship. And uh, Rusev uh, and the United States Championship with Lana, of course, stay on Monday Night Raw. Zack Ryder was on SmackDown. He could have bring the title home, but did not. Hopefully Zack Ryder uh, stays, rele stays relevant and stays 
and you know something good happens for him, a good push. But then Mozarella would come out post match, and uh, would come out post match to come out and help his friend because he would beat him up after the match. However, uh, Rusev didn't even lay a hand on him. Rojo went in his face and he left the ring. So yeah, then we would have the final battle. Well, it is uh, named, it is billed as the final battle. Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. So, basically, this is the final battle. They're both on or off, so I'm thinking this feud actually could continue and maybe culminate at SummerSlam, the biggest event of the summer. I don't know, but it was a very great, awesome match. They had a lot of time to work with, putting moves in and everything. Um, I would say it's got to be a five-star match. Sami Zayn would pick up the victory after he had two Haluba kicks. Great matchup, awesome. It was phenomenal. See these people at it again. They always pick up, put up good matches. We'll have to wait and see what happens after this. Then you would get more women's action with Becky Lynch versus Natalia both on SmackDown. Um, so this feud could possibly continue. However, Natalia would make, uh, well, yeah, it would, uh, make Becky Lynch tap out. Natalia finally picking up a big victory. Becky Lynch, unfortunately, um, you know, losing, but it's not gonna hurt her. People know that she's really good, and so that's all you needed to get back on track anyway. Becky Lynch, I think if they have another match, she'll win it. And yeah, it was a great match, I thought. It worked really well together, and it's good to see them. A singles woman's match on paper, you've got to see Natalia Becky Lynch, and a few of them are both on SmackDown, so it could continue. I mean, we've seen brawls. We saw what they can do already with the build-up and all that. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to what's, to see what's next with these two. Great matches I've seen they can have. Um, so, yeah. Then we would get the WWE Intercontinental Championship match. The Miz defending against Dar Darren Young, because, of course, we want to make Darren Young great again. So, at one point, he's with Bob Backlund, and he's on Mrs. with Maurice. And both managing them to the ring, individually, of course. And, uh, I gotta say this. Darren Young put up a great performance. He really thought, a few times, I thought he was actually gonna win it. I'm not gonna lie. I really did think he was gonna win the match. And become the new Intercounts Championship for the first time in his career. A big, I mean, it's his first big match at pay per view. And I have to give him props for it. Gotta give him credit. He really did deliver. And he, he really did uh, send a lot of people and, and surprise a lot of people and amaze a lot of people with his performance. However, he would be unsuccessful to get the job done because uh, uh, he'd actually get disqualified because, yeah. Um, so Miz retains and it stays on SmackDown. So, hey, they didn't, Darren Young didn't even lose clean. Or the Miz, so it's good to know that Darren Young doesn't lose cleanly and still seems relevant after that great performance. So well it's gonna look it's gonna be I, I keep saying this, but it's gonna be interesting to see what happens next with all these superstars with the brand extension, people going raw, SmackDown, championship and everything. So it's gonna be interesting to see though. And they had an okay match. Yeah. Decent. Uh, then we have six man tag team action more, that club versus Intel Mario, Big Cast and John Cena. And uh, this match was actually really, really good. I liked it. All the, it was getting crazy. All the moves, people getting there, you know, putting in their moves, you know, everyone getting in there, putting, you know, putting their, you know, put, put everything out there. And, uh, yeah, it's a crazy finish. Everyone's flying around and everything. It's the last time it was going to happen because the club split up. Cena and Styles on SmackDown, so their people will probably continue. And maybe the Big Cass and Enzo and the club, well, Gallows and Anderson, will continue in a tag team route. We'll have to wait and see. I thought it was really great, to be honest. Uh, Cena would actually pin AJ Styles for the win. He finally beat him. Um, so this most likely will culminate. I don't know if it will. It's only going to be their second singles match, but you can still say that Cena defeated him, so 
Well, let's see. I think it's going to be a good stipulation, too. I think it won't be an arm match. The stipulation will be added. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, he hit the Super AA for the one from the top rope. Top turnbuckle. So, good match, actually. And that round was so far good. Uh, then we got the highlight reel with Chris Jericho, the host, obviously, and his guest, the return of the Viper, Randy Orton. And yeah, at the end, he would give him an RKO out of nowhere. Yeah, it's of course what we all wanted to see, and he gave it to us, he delivered. It's a good segment. We're going to see him, but I would not be surprised if they held off uh, his ma or him competing in the ring. Um, looks like I don't think he'll wrestle until SummerSlam, but it's possibly wrestles on SmackDown because they did it with Seth Rollins. He didn't wrestle until Money in the Bank. So, yeah. So we'll see what happens there. It's gonna be interesting. Looking forward to it actually. Then we're then it's time for the main event, the match everyone's been waiting for, anticipating, everyone predicting, everyone previewing, everyone talking about, everyone doing everything with. The triple threat match for the WWE Championship. The challengers being Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns and your champion Dean Ambrose. Triple threat action. And a Dream Shield triple threat match. Everyone's been wanting to see this and it finally happens. At Battleground. And a great, awesome, i say a five star triple threat match. It was great to see you saw it. I mean, you. It was so phenomenal. I mean, you saw it steal. You saw a steel chair. So Rollins hit him in the back of each uh, individual. Reigns and Rollins, or Reigns and Ambrose. You got to see a power bomb, like the shield power bomb they used to do, except Reigns or except Rollins and Ambrose. Boom! Onto the Allen's table. They worked together, Amber, uh, Ambrose and Rollins against Reigns. Took them out. Uh, you saw Superman punches. You seen pedigrees. You saw dirty deeds. You seen finishing moves. You seen signatures. You've seen everything you usually see. You knew this match was going to be good, and they delivered again. Of course, all three of these men always do when it matters most. And they did it, and they put up a great match, an awesome match. Five star. Fantastic. And I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm so happy to actually announce this as well. My favorite wrestler right now. And still. Your WWE Champion, <laughs> Dean Ambrose, the WWE Championship is still your champion, retains the title, and it stays with SmackDown, exclusively with SmackDown. Who's this next challenger? It's going to be interesting. What's his next feud? Who's going to challenge him next? With a big victory here, the best member of the Shield picks up the win. He pinned, uh, um, pinned Reigns. And I'm thinking a feud for um, Reigns and Rollins at SummerSlam. A match is going to happen there. Something. We're going to see what, what uh, everyone came out to the roster. To, oh, yeah, both rosters are watching to Raw and SmackDown individually in their locker rooms. We're all watching to see what title it came home to and everything. And, yeah, it was it was really cool. The commissioners and GMs, Raw and SmackDown are out there. Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, Daniel Bryan and Mick Foley. And then Ambrose won, of course, Shane and Daniel are all happy. The roster comes out with SmackDown, celebrates, puts him on the shoulders, and Stephanie and Mick, you know, of course, mad, disappointed, and sad. We'll have to wait and see what happens on Monday Night Raw tomorrow. With that case, with Rollins and Reigns and Stephanie and Mick, what they're going to do. It's the World of a Championship coming back, a more championships coming back. What's going to happen to the title picture there? I mean, you got to have a world title on Raw. But the SmackDown Championship is the. W Championship stays on SmackDown, it's on SmackDown now, Ambrose and the W Championship. And yeah, I'm very shocked. I didn't think, I mean, I, I wanted him to win. He's, I actually, I thought he had a good chance. I, I, I did. But, I thought Rollins for some reason was going to win. But Ambrose retains. And, yeah. And yeah, the celebration and everything, so. What a battleground it was, what a pay per view. A live special on the WWE Network. And yeah, that's how it ended. So, yeah. So yeah, I gotta give this, I've gotta give this show, full show, the grade. 
I mean, he had two great, uh, really great, awesome matches. I've got to give it. Nothing was really bad on the show. I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm going to give it a B plus. Yeah, I thought it was it was so close to get an A, A minus. But I'm going to stick it with a B plus. It wasn't perfect, but I was. It was exciting. It was fun to watch, and it wa and now I want to tune it around SmackDown and see what happens next in the story. And what I mean, what's going to be the on the road to SummerSlam? You got so much to look forward to now on Raw and SmackDown. The rosters they have, the championships, the exclusive properties they have with you know, on the East Network live shows. It's very interesting to see what happens next. So I want to know what you guys thought about Battle Run. Let me know in the comment section below on what you thought. And uh, yeah, I like this video. If you enjoyed, like if you liked what you see, if you enjoyed the content, you enjoyed the review. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, share to show some support. Comment to let me know what you guys thought about Battle in the comment section below. Below, and I read all the comments, so don't worry. And subscribe if you want more content like this. More reviews like this. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Um, peace out.